Welcome everyone, is iOS 15 beta not for you? Maybe it's too buggy, maybe the battery life isn't great. But that's okay, because I'm gonna be showing you how to remove the iOS 15 profile and downgrade back to iOS 14. So let me just show you, if I go to the about page inside the settings, that yes, I am running iOS 15 on my iPhone 6s plus. And by the end of this video, I'll be back on iOS 14. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, this tutorial may work or may not work. This tutorial will work up until September of 2021. If you're watching this video after September 2021, there is no way to downgrade back to iOS 14. The only way um, to get off the iOS 15 beta is to move to the iOS 15 official release. Uh, once, if you're watching this video in September, there will be a video in the description uh, which will link you on how to do that. The process is different. As we've established that we can actually do this then let's get started so first things first what we're going to do is we want to open up the settings application find general and then we want to find uh, vpn and device management right here tap into this one and then we see the ios 15 beta software profile we're going to tap on this remove profile and removed and we see this pop up we're just going to tap on not now this is the first part of uh uninstalling ios 15 so we've just removed the beta profile what this means is we will not ever be updated to a beta again once we uh, downgrade because while we remove the beta that will not remove ios 15 it will not put us straight to ios 14 we are actually going to have to do a downgrade process and this re uh, uh, does require a uh, computer windows or mac if you do not have a windows or mac unfortunately uh, you will have to stay on the uh, beta you can always ask a friend to borrow their computer this process only takes really 10 minutes so here's what you're going to do if you do have a computer so i'm going to uh, head you over to the link right here ipsw.me very easy link to search that up and once we're here we need to select our device so i have the iphone 6s plus so i'm going to click on iphone and then we're going to find 6s plus and you can see it right here however you might notice some devices say iPhone 7 Global and iPhone 7 GSM. If you're wondering which device to select, GSM is for American users who have an American iPhone. Global is for anyone else in any other country. Um, so if I was to use an iPhone 7, I'm from the UK, therefore I would click on iPhone 7 Global. Otherwise, I'd click on iPhone 7 GSM if I'm from the United States. However, the iPhone 6S Plus doesn't have this option. You know, it's just they just have the uh, both global and gsm bundled so i'm just going to click on this and then we see right here ios 14.6 is signed if ios 14 any ios 14 firmware is in the unsigned ipsw section uh, which will most likely be in september this means unfortunately you will not be able to follow this tutorial anymore so there's nothing i can do about this the reason why is apple does server checks every single time you try and downgrade so even if you download this firmware file while it says signed i mean you can downgrade it's out of itunes or finder if in the future apple was to unsign this firmware file when you try and downgrade apple will do the server check it will see that the firmware file is unsigned and it will block you from downgrading it sucks however this is how apple operates so if we see an ios 14 firmware here it can be ios 14.6.1 iOS 14.7 if you're watching the future that's all right we're just going to click on this and then we're going to click on the blue download button right here and then we're going to click on save file okay and you can see uh, the iOS 14.6 is installing onto my device this is the exact firmware file we're going to need to downgrade now on the iPhone what we're going to do is we need to uh, first of all prepare our iPhone for the downgrade so we're going to go to settings we're going to go to general we're going to go to reset and we're not going to tap on erase all content and settings meaning you will not lose your data but the first thing we want to do is we're going to find reset home screen layout reset home screen and you'll see it reset the home screen layout next i want you to remove the widgets and the reason why we do this is to prevent any boot loops from happening because if you have any iOS 15 features loaded and you try and downgrade back to iOS 14, when the operating system runs uh, iOS 14, it's trying to load iOS 15 features which do not exist in iOS 14 
that's why the boot loop happens. And next, I want you to find reset all settings. You're going to tap on this and reset all settings. Now, this is different from erase all content and settings. So what will reset all settings do? First of all, it will reset your wallpaper to the default wallpaper used in iOS 15. It will also reset any uh, settings such as your passcode um, and stuff like that. Also, um, it will reset any settings which will you know, boot loop your phone. So uh, I'm not gonna be doing this in this video because I'm gonna be showing you the full process uh, on how to do this. I'm not actually gonna do it myself. However, I have made an in-depth tutorial which shows me doing this process and shows me doing the full downgrade. So if you do have any issues or some, uh, you wanna see exactly what the reset or setting does, I will have my in-depth tutorial in the description. It's a longer video, but that's all right. Uh, this video is mainly made for people who, for the most part, you know, understand the basic grasp of technology and can, you know, just need to see what to do and then they can just do. Finally, uh, once the firmware file is downloaded, we, we're going to open up Finder or iTunes. If you have a Windows computer, you will need to uh, download iTunes manually. You can go onto Google, search up iTunes download. Make sure you download from the official Apple website, apple.com, apple.co.uk, etc. And so what we're going to do is we need to plug our iPhone to the computer. So right now, uh, my iPhone is not recognized. So let's try and uh, fix this. So I'm just going to quickly plug uh, my uh, iPhone in. You can tell one-handed uh, plugging in isn't the greatest, but that's all right. If there's any trust pop-ups which show up on the, com uh, show up on the iPhone, uh, then you will need to uh, make sure you trust the connection. So currently, I do not see my iPhone. If this is the case, what we're going to do is on the Mac, you'd hold down Command, Option, and Escape. I'm going to very quickly do that. And then I'm going to relaunch the terminal. Relaunch. And all right, so my iPhone is still not recognized. So what this means is I will need to restart my Mac. If your iPhone isn't recognized on the computer, obviously you do need to plug it in, then you will need to restart your. All right, so it's next day and you can see my iPhone showed up. Uh, it's not like I had to wait a day. It's just I wanted to continue recording the next day. I restarted my Mac and then you can see my iPhone has shown up here. So we're going to click on this. And if you see this pop up saying trust iPhone, we'll click on trust. And then we see on our iPhone, trust this computer, we'll tap on trust. You might be asked to enter in your passcode, just enter in your passcode. And so the final step that we need to do is you see right here, software iOS 15.0. If you are really sensitive about losing your data, you absolutely cannot lose uh, your data. I want you to find backup now and just backup uh, your iPhone locally via iTunes. So if the downgrade goes wrong, which it could go wrong, uh, for me, I've done it before. And again, I'll leave my in-depth tutorial in the description. You see, um, I get a couple of error codes. However, at the end of the day, after the downgrade finishes, I keep all my data, no issues. But if you absolutely cannot lose your data, I recommend you make that backup. And so what we do is on Windows, you're going to hold down Shift. And then on uh, Mac, you're going to hold down the Option key. And while you hold down Option or Shift, you're going to left-click Check for Update. And then once we're here, we're going to uh, just find that IPSW file. So uh, for me, this is my iPhone 7 IPSW file. Uh, you just click on open and it will allow you to downgrade. Now, just remember if the firmware isn't signed. So if I just go here and the firmware you're using isn't in the signed area, that means you cannot downgrade to it. So just a quick video on how to downgrade your device without losing data. If you run into any issues like error nine, just keep on trying again and it will eventually work. And if you do need any help, my in-depth video is in the description this video is made for people someone understands you know um the basics of ios that other video is just a very basic video um which anyone really can follow this one just you know to make, uh, keep the video short that's how i've done it so see you guys later bye bye